I find it amazing though that I found a three star bow that's on par with a four star bow. I didn't I didn't know that high end rolled bows in the three star category would be on par. Hey Glacier's getting his ass kicked, it looks like. Like I can't even walk because he's suffering so many attacks each round. Ugh, this is so annoying. Why can't you kill him? Like, is it really, really that difficult for you to hit some people? Apparently it is. Okay, there's the staircase going down. I want to see how busy you've been over here and collect all the merchandise that you have um, discovered for me. Of course, enemies are going to just keep spying indefinitely, so my whole goal is just to open up all the puke piles here and then go down. There's not going to be a limit to all the all the delicious stuff if I just keep camping this area. Alright. Yep. So we're good. I like to say that. I don't have much else to say. We're good. I'm good. I'm fine. I basically say that when I when I don't want to deal with somebody. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. You can go away. I'm cool. I don't know why I picked it up or how I picked it up or even really what it means, but the point is I use it. How do you use something that you don't exactly know the definition? I don't. I just do. Okay, you've been busy down here, and you know what? I I, I need to go down the stairs now before you start doing that and making me a whole bunch of money that I have to collect on. So, you know, stop stop meandering about on your own here and just um, let me go down. And let me resummon you. Oh no, such a problem. Too much loot. Actually, it is in most dungeon crawler games. Most dungeon crawler games have a weight capacity on everything. Ancient Domains of Mystery did. The only thing it didn't have a weight was gold, because sometimes you could get drained in strength, and but you could use gold to get it back, uh, some training, or sacrifice it as an altar. So you needed to have some way of doing that, so gold just inherently didn't have any weight. So you could have 20,000 gold pieces and it doesn't have any weight. Yeah, don't ask how that's possible. The Septum came with the Game of the Year version of Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. I've got it. So if I was holding 10,000 of these, they'd be, they would be too heavy, you know? It'd be cool if I had a bunch of them, because then I could use them as my currency, but you know, they don't have any value. They're probably made of tin or something. Some metal that just doesn't have a whole lot of... Uh, you know, like, like it's cheap total cheap metal to, to throw out there. A couple cents to make that septum it didn't really add anything to the cost of the to the cost of the game. Another book. I like books. You guys can get away from me if you want, because um, I'm mostly using archery at this point. Even though I've got other abilities, yes I do. I'm not really using them. And my golem over there is just, he's tireless. He just goes on and on, man. He'll, he'll go on until he croaks. And you know what? It's fine. He's not even afraid to die because he knows that I can summon him back. And look at that. And I can just summon him up here and get these skulls. I didn't want to do that, but all right. Is there anything over here? Yeah, there is. I didn't even think there would be. I was just going to be like stupid and like, no, of course not. But nope, there was. There was something over there. Please tell me this is the bottom. Yes, fifth floor. Thank you. Uh, just to summon you because you can mop up the floor with yeah, him. Dude, that's the first time I've killed him without him jumping in the water first. Cool. You guys saw it here first. Okay, now let's see what we got. Lots of good stuff. Negative 11 on that. The bow is 
equal damage. I could try to enchant that one and see if it comes out even better, but I'd have to buy more Aster Fremenize, and, and I'll save it, but... Anyway, I can't equip that, but that's got purple resist. And we're doing light armor, so, you know, that's 15 block bonus, 17 parry bonus. Iron Marksman. I think we have all of the Marksman abilities. Yep. No! We can get Iron Marksman on this one. Venomizer. Fire multiple shots in a single target. Um, in fact, yeah, why not? Sweet. I actually kind of want to use that ability. Um, what am I not using? Well, uh, I'm kind of not using number six, to be fair. Um, I kind of use it. I mean, I have it, and I, I hit it by accident a lot of times, but I'm not really using it, so let's just um, throw out that archery skill. I should have been a ranger, man's, but it's cool. I like having the book. Think we can get through this in 15 minutes? The mausoleum? I don't know. These things tend to be pretty big, but they're only one floor, so... Or two floors? Two floors. Yeah, they're two floors. Two floors, and each floor is huge. And there's a lot of chests out here to search. You might find something good in them. You might find total crap in them. I always like to get rings. There might be something cool in a ring. Like, plus 300 poison resist or some shit like that. Or, um... Or, you know, the same thing with uh, purple resist. If I can get a couple 300 purple resist rings, that would be tight. I, I would be so happy. Because then that means that all the purple damage they would throw at me in the tower would basically be negated. And then I didn't, wouldn't have to worry about the armor so much having the purple resists. I could do... I could even do some purple... Negative purple resist if I had 600 purple resist on my rings. Yes. Alright, well, let's go up. There it is. There's that one chest I had looked at when I had walked down. And then there's this one. Another ring. It's only two experience now. Sometimes the golem was giving me plus 28 experience. I guess because this mausoleum is mundane. So the zombies have a lower... Um, uh, EXP value. I can handle that. We're good. I'm actually happy with myself for taking light armor and understanding it. Because I always shunned it, and now I'm... Yeah, it's kind of a mixed bag. But if I get to the Purple Onions and the Shark Dogs are just totally kicking my ass because of it, then I'll have a different tune to sing. But at least it survived up to that point. And that's saying something. Medium armor? I've already said it a billion times, and then some just don't take it. it sucks in this game. Never fucking take it. Medium armor's retarded. Sorry, they didn't... They didn't understand what they were doing when they were making it. I'm not saying they didn't try. They wanted to have three armors with three distinct styles, and, well, you know, that's fine. Medium armor tries to do its own thing too much. It, it tries to, yeah, it tries to do its own thing, and it, suffer, it suffers from the uh, middle child syndrome, where it doesn't know what it wants to be, and it's uh, overshined both. Because the youngest child always gets the spoilage, and then the oldest child always has the most stuff, and the middle child is always left holding the fucking bag. Like, I get some things, but I don't actually get... I, I don't get all the stuff the baby gets because the baby's spoiled, and I don't get all the stuff the older guy gets because the older guy's been around longer. Uh, so, but, yeah, it's just the middle child syndrome. So if you're one of three children, make sure you're not the middle one, and you can't control that. It depends on what order your parents wanted to just, you know, pop you out. And you can't control exactly what genes throw in there in the first place because um did you know your gametes undergo gene shuffling when they divide gametes divide twice you have a cell in your balls or your ovaries so you have an egg or a sperm but it starts out as a full cell it divides once then it divides again the second division makes four gametes which are cells that have half the number of chromosomes but you see when it does this it actually undergoes gene shuffle so some of the genes and the pairs of chromosomes swap before it divides. So, um, and some of your gametes, let's just say on the 18th chromosome, uh, you, it'll have some genes on those that you don't have in your DNA. It has actually, in effect, created new information. Take that, creationists. 
new information doesn't get created. It fucking gets created all the time. They can't even define information, by the way. They always change what it means to suit their agenda. Your gametes alone create new genes by swapping genes. And that, that changes it. changes the makeup. And that's just what happens. There you go. I'm glad I figured out how to do that. Okay. Too many Steam pop-ups. I can't wait till they update the Humble Bundle. And that way I won't be bothered with uh, more Steam pop-ups. I don't think I can get through this mausoleum in 10 minutes. It's gonna be... It's gonna be... Um... There. It's gonna be hard because this, the mausoleums take time. And they're huge. You're just gonna go over there and do your own thing, aren't you? Yep, and I'm gonna get some artifacts over here. Some of my shield again. Okay, see, medium armor has the worst time on the, on the planet when you enter the mausoleums here. And you wanna know why? It's because all of these skeletons are throwing ice shards at you, as you can see. And when they don't throw ice shards at you, they like to throw poison clouds at you. Poison and ice are the two items in the, in the mausoleums that are abundant. And what does medium armor suffer from? It suffers from the inability to negate dot damage, damage over time. It, it has it suffers from the ability not to negate background damage. And poison clouds are abundant here in the mausoleum. And it cannot negate any magic damage. And that spike right there is magic damage. So, yeah, and that's poison damage. Mausoleums are ripe with everything medium armor cannot do. So when you're using medium armor, it's a special challenge for you to um, make it work here, and you can't. I mean, you just have to get lucky that, that you find enemies before they find you, that, you know, shit happens in better orders. They don't jump you, they don't circle around you, etc, etc. So, alright, see there's more poison clouds. You see me do mausoleums, you know how they are. And medium armor can't fucking deal with all this. As a matter of fact, it can't deal with any of this. It can't even deal with the damage from these wells if you pop this shield and hit that and resist status effect. And, and heavy armor can shrug it off. Medium armor can't do shit here. So if you are a medium armor build, just ignore the mausoleums altogether because you are asking to get your ass kicked if you come in here. And as a matter of fact, you're asking really, really hard. You're fucking begging to get your ass kicked. You're telling the game... Game, I would like you to kill me. I would like to fucking fail, okay? And, yeah, because the medium armor just can't deal with it. I'm not saying it's the developer's fault. They wanted to have a distinct armor. I say we should get rid of medium armor altogether in the game and just up the evasion value of light armor. We don't need three distinct armors in the game. It's not necessary. Um, a lot of times, creators of games do feel that it's necessary to add a lot of variety. You know, variety is good, but sometimes there's just too much. You can have too many cooks, and in this case, the medium armor suffers from middle child syndrome, and it suffers from the too many cook syndrome. We have we have too many choices. Um, and I, th this character that I have right now suffers from that problem. I have too many abilities that I don't need or use, but that's what books were for. That's what books did. And you know what? You don't have to read the books. Many times I don't read the books, because I don't want the abilities. Like, even if I can't use them, like, why not, why not use the books to give me shields, even though I'm not using them? Why not use the books to give me a uh, two-handed weapon, two dual wielding? I don't want it. I, you know, it just, it's, it's just one more, it's one more ability, uh, it's one more ability in my repertory that I don't need. Because I only seem to be using about three abilities. Uh, my archery ability, um, which I haven't actually been using this Let's Play. When there's a bunch of groups, a bunch of dudes together in a group, I haven't been using it. I found a lot of artifacts, though, which is nice. I like finding artifacts. Even though, since I'm doing kind of like... It's not really the Iron Man challenge in this specific case, because this is my sixth Dungeon Man, but those guys were just me still weaving, we weeding out the uh, variables of the game, understanding how the game's working. Um, but if I, if I had got my shit together earlier, uh, then this would be Iron Man. I wouldn't have had the other five deaths. But I also was doing this Let's Play under the full build, and 
a couple of my episodes were the um, uh, map I generated in the alpha version, and then I went to this this map that got generated in the full version. So, and I probably will reset the map um, because that'll change the layout of things and it'll keep things fresh. Uh, okay. Uh, we still have another floor of this mausoleum to go through, so I don't know if I'm going to make it through. Probably not. Probably not. Yeah. There. And... But I want to find everything. Uh, I regenerate health. Yay. Okay. Alright. And then there's going to be some chests down here. This episode's probably going to go over time as well. But I did two towers, and then the mausoleum, and, I, and a cave. So, all in all, see, I could do the number nine here. Hit everybody. Do it twice. Yeah, well, I have, I have arrows, dude. You, you know, it's not like you can run from me. And a bunch of bow drops. That's three bows in this one corner. Oh, I actually left a bag of shit down here. Just, that sucks. It's uh, casters, ankle boots, which I don't... No, if I need or not. Probably because it's casters and that's light armor, so I probably equip them. Uh, we'll find out. Better um, protect myself. There. You gonna have fun up here at my expense? Well, it's not really at my expense, but. The fact that I don't know you're doing it. Feels like my two hand of fighting um, isn't really doing that much damage here. Let's do that. There. Damn, was he a boss? Because he felt like a little bit stronger than my usual fare. I think he was, but nah, he wasn't flashing. It's just he was a, he just had higher rolls and higher stats. I resist status effect. Yay! Try to do this with medium armor. I challenge you. You probably can't do it. There's too many. There's too much magic going on down here for it to work. All right. Well, we'll just do four for a while. Too much status effect going on. Yeah. See. Oh, I'm regenerating health now. Yay. And I was doing it also without ranged, because they were they were telling me that yeah you could play the game without ranged. They weren't telling me they were they were telling the group, the community. And I beg to differ. This game really doesn't offer a whole lot of great strategy without range. Now, if you have a sword and shield combo, you can dash pretty far. So I need to try that out. I need to try that out to see if um, that's a viable option. I haven't actually experimented too much with the sword and shield combo. Because I just like the two-handed weapons a lot more. I like the knockback ability. I probably should be experimenting with sword and shield because I don't want to make I don't want to make um, judgments on it without information. You know. Um. Cool. My golem should uh, have an okay time over there. Yeah, see, he's fine. He's 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 having a good time. I'm just gonna chill here for a minute. Yeah, that was scary. Those zombies, ugh, totally kicks my ass sometimes if they get the jump on me. I need to watch that. Uh, yeah. Like here comes the zombie. So if I knock his ass back, then he won't do that master poison attack, whatever you want to call it. Like he blows up and I get all that damage. I don't, I don't know. That's risky. I think that's what it is. I think that's his final attack. Like, he has it right before he croaks. And I'm gonna summon Golem again. He was kinda low on health, and, um, there's enough enemies around here that I'll get some skulls back. Okay, there we go. I don't seem to have that strong of an attack with my sword. Which is a bit interesting. And we're basically at time, so I'm kind of over time right now. 
Here, I'll just summon you again. There's plenty of skulls around here. Ow. Uh, I am now a champion! Yay! I don't want to waste it, I'm just trying to chase down this one fucker, and that's wasting all the turns of the champion. Alright, there you go. Now I'm no longer a champion. Sad. I'm sad now. Yes. Oh, well, there's a skeleton here. Yeah, we're kind of over time now. But it's alright. We'll be a few minutes over. We did a lot today. I'm trying to... Trying to clear the map before we go to the Purpleonians, man. Because it maximizes my chance to get something awesome. Even though it's all RNG based. Alright. And I like the attack back this meet this light shield has. It does seem to do some damage. Not a whole hell of a lot, you know. My, my beefed up attacks with my artifact weapons are doing quite a bit right now, but um here, knock you back, knock you back. Yeah, see, I'm good. Put my shield back on. That worked. That all worked itself out. And knock you back, because you, you tend to have that. Oh, a gelatinous cone. I have just, um... I have, um... I killed with the attack back. Fall today, rise in 666 nights. So basically, fall in less than two years. You'll, you'll die, you'll, you'll raise up in two years, you'll be a lich. Sure, until 1025, upstart assholes come and try and kill me. No, thank you. Ow. Uh, right. Summon the shield. Knock your ass back. Uh, summon the shield. Uh, right. Um. I'm getting attacked by people I can't see down here, yeah. I would prefer not to get attacked by them. Maybe I can kill him with a few arrow shots. And it seems he's concentrating on the golem, which is good. Oh, there's two champions here. No wonder I'm having such a hard time. Yeah, see, and he's healing himself. Where he's sucking up my life force. Okay. That's probably just a random champion that spawned. He's the champion I had to kill. Alright. Where's the portal? He's supposed to spawn a portal. Unless two spawned here. Nope, that was just a regular champion. Okay. He wasn't the boss. But that was a little confused. That was confusing. I was like, well, where... Okay, he's over in that corner. It just so happened that the boss that was summoned was of the same monster type as... The champion that had summoned as the boss of the mausoleum was the same monster type as a standard champion that had spawned randomly here. So, great. That was fun. I had never experienced that before. The game has given me something to think about. Well, something to say, yep, I've explored that. And you know what? It's time to um, shoot. Uh, well, we want our shield. Yeah, see, the attack back is really cool, so I just want to do that. And... There. And four. Yeah. I use four sometimes. I don't call the attacks by their names, I call them by their hotkey. <laughs> yep, this is what I do. Uh, that's a well, but I've already drained it. Okay. Let's make sure I drained it. Ow! I've been jumped like that. That's what I that's when I died by the twenty side die in the mausoleum before that you guys didn't see. Uh, with another build. I, I walked around a corner like that and he happened to be in a corner just like that, and he just attacked me one time and I croaked. Yep. He got the jump on me and did all of my hit points down. It was bullshit. I felt like the game totally fucking cheated me. I'm getting a lot of artifacts around here, which is great. I, when they introduce the ability to retire, that's when I'll feel great. I can pretty much spam that. Here. Yeah, see? They ain't got nothing on me, man. 20 side to die, you ain't got shit. I'm gonna kill you. And I've almost got this board cleared. Almost. Looks like I've got it cleared. Yep. Let's get out of here. Go 
Go through the portal we've created. We drop off our fruits of strength. Or strength. Well, I think we've cleared almost everything in here. Nine is the Purpleonian's Tower. I've cleared that. And no, I want to avoid the cat. I just want to check out the map really quick. We've got that to deal with. And we've got that cave we did. Okay, we did that cave. We've got that to deal with. And that's it. One more cave. And then we can go on to the tower. Uh, great. We are in the home stretch. Uh, fuck it. That's awesome. Um, I'm going to use my stats. And I'm going to go the way home. Let me see if I can find it. Press the attack, Dead Pulse, uh, Detonate Dead Pulse, Graves, Raise Mostly, Gift Exchange, uh, Crowd Control, Typhoon, Sticks the Way Home. I've saved a lot. Oh, sorry, I stopped the check because there's probably going to be some new stuff. Uh huh. And it looks like I don't really have anything. Impressive. Uh, there's that plus two. I probably don't need to save it anymore because I have better weapons. But I'm gonna save. I'll just keep it save. It's not gonna hurt anything. Yeah, I, I'm saving that one, which I don't really need to save. Um, yeah. And yeah, see that's. I don't have to save it, it's not that great. This one seems okay, but it's a 66 and I've got plenty more where that came from. So, looks like, yeah, 66, um, 46. Anyway, uh, and it also has a plus two, but I'd have to wipe it and try it again, so. Um, which I could do if I find scrolls. And, okay, uh, let's go on to the bows. Make sure I'm saving all the proper bows. And I'm saving this one for some reason. Well, that's I, I, that was a, a standard bow that I was saving because it wasn't uh, enchanted yet. It was plus 5, plus 9. Uh, plus 5, plus 4, which is pretty good. Um, that's still a good bow. I probably don't need to keep it anymore. I mean, it's good. I like it, but I'm not going to use it. I'll, I'll not save it. Okay. Uh, but it was good. It was good. Um, don't need to save that one anymore, that's for sure. And all this stuff. Yep. Uh, we're saving that one because it's a good base damage bow, and I could maybe try to enchant it better. And that's it. That's the only reason we're saving it. Armor-wise... Uh, well... I wish I could filter this into just lights, so I wouldn't have to cycle through it down over and over and over again. All right, well, I think I've locked down everything I want to lock down. And uh, here's some books for the library. Uh, Defensive Defending, Mana Arms, Battle and Beyond, Armor's Almanac to Serve and Deflect, Fish Barrels, and You. Yeah, take them. 27 books. Awesome. Uh, I brought back some relics. Cultist, True Things 3, has a Star Shard. There's more relics. Here's some Quarshonium, Proofs of Strength, and... None of these blueprints are really that good this late in the game. They're always like three star weapons. Yeah. Um, yeah, they don't ever add dice rolls, they just add standard 10, 10, 10. That's, um, it's good weapons to start with, but you'll outpace them pretty quick. Uh, can I put stuff. Oh, wow. Um, that's the same item I have. Ooh. And I found the Smoke Stalkers set. It's medium armor. I'm going to put that in the vault. And I'm going to put this... I have the same helmet in the vault. I didn't know I found a second one. Yay! In fact, I wonder if I could lock this from here. No, I can't. Okay. Um, take items out of the vault. Increases the vault's capacity. It's Fumite. Uh, I can do that. And now it's going to be 500 star wheel. And then it'll probably be maxed out. Go back. Now it actually takes resources, which sucks. <laughs> and um, upgrade starting weapons and armor. It's all going to be Fumite 2. Yeah, see. I'm tempted to do this just to say that I've done it. But um, here's some trash gear. How about all of my unlocked gear? 
Uh, that'll be 368 Fumite. Oh, the rings. I didn't actually check any of the rings. I've changed my mind. Uh, it's all goodbye. I didn't check jewelry. Ah, uh, great. Dampening ring, Hackerite rings, jewel fighting, Taurus rings, cools is 200. 300 fire resist. Yes. Um, 15 bonus block. 35 dodge bonus. I think I'll save that. Uh, Fumite, Fumin Science. 15 block bonus. I'll save one of those. And 10 block bonus. Don't need that anymore. 35 bonus dodge. 50 bonus dodge. 35... 7 bonus parry. Save that one. 300 poison resist, I'm saving. And 150 per resist, I'm saving, I'm saving. And 200 cold resist. I don't think I need that one anymore, do I? No. Um, another 200 cold resist. Yeah, yeah. 300 cold resist. Oh, you know we're saving that one. I don't need to save the 200 anymore. Cool. Am I going to save that cursed ring, do you think? Yeah, this one? Yeah, I'm saving it. Because it makes me basically like that ice dude, but um, okay, now I'm going to... Here's some trash gear I'd like to melt down. How about all of my unlocked gear? Yes, melt it all down. Not too bad. Look at all that. Um, Upgrade hammers. I'm still missing two. What am I missing? Damn, like, what are these? Triumphant and Venomous. Like, what is that? You know? There's the 2D8s. There's the... I don't ever get the 3D6s or the 4D5s because I didn't tell them to um, melt those things down. I probably should do that. Then I will get them. It's probably what that is. Probably the 44s or something. Okay, um, that's it. That's everything. And I've gone way over time. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, did the books respawn? No. I'm always tempted to see if look and see if they've respawned or not. How many shards do I have before I leave? Five. Uh, yes, I'm, then it's good, because I can go to the forge. Did we find the forge yet? Um, nope, we still have that last level in cartography, which is going to happen when we're level 15, unless I find the book first. And let's get the spending. 49 points. 42, 42. 43, 3, and 3. And... Science is good for resistances, so you know what? Yeah! I still have all that strength. Sweet. This is it. This is the entire episode. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.